Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal Reading Light. My name is Charlotte. This is a reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your first half of April reading. <clears throat> so Aquarius, let's start. Aquarius, in your 12th house, there is Pluto and Jupiter that are doing a conjunction. South Node is still there. Um, so basically, <clears throat> Pluto, Jupiter, what is that? That is Pluto, the hidden the planet that's the smallest, but it's the most impactful. Um, that kind of like brings stuff up to the surface. It's the planet that rules Scorpio with Mars. And it's doing like, basically what it's doing, it's like exposing stuff, okay? And it's even more exposed now because we have Jupiter in the picture that's like conjunct with it. Jupiter is expanding all the stuff, you know? So you are discovering things for the good or the better. I mean, the, the bad or the better, you know? You're either discovering secrets, things about yourself that you've been, like, putting off, putting off you know, are, like, just popping and hitting you in the face, or you're discovering hidden talents, okay? Um, so something is being um, blasted here, all right? And it's in Capricorn, so I am thinking um, it's to do with your career, okay? Even though it's your 12th house, so it's, about, I think, you were lying to yourself, I feel, a lot about your career. You know, you were doing something career-wise that was not, um, or maybe it was, but now it's definitely not in alignment with you anymore. You're just not feeling it anymore, okay? You're definitely getting some um, emotions that are coming to the surface, indecision, um kind of not satisfact, satis, you know, non-satisfaction. You're unsatisfied with something, okay, that's going on that has to do with your 3D life, you know, pentacles. So it's work or it's um, just the way you've been doing things, you know, stuff you've been doing like robotically. And all of a sudden it's like, why have I been doing all this? You know, I mean, this is not me anymore, you know. And you're starting to get hits about what you really want to do. You're, there's a sense of connectivity right now with you guys. You know, you're very disconnected as a sign, but you're very go-getter. You know what you want to do. You're clear, level-headed because you're an air sign. But um, here it's like it's, it's deeper. You know, it's something deeper. Now, you have Saturn as well in your house that's doing a conjunction with Mars. So, yeah, so Saturn is the big, you know, daddy here, karma. It's like Saturn is urging you with Mars to change things up. You no longer can hide, put this off. This is a radical change that's going like, ding, 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 ding. There's a bell ringing. A bell is ringing. It's time. It's like, it is time, okay? The alarm clock just went off. And it's not, I feel like it's not even one alarm. It's like multiple alarms because Mars is over there. You know, and you might feel a little bit annoyed, anxious, or aggravated because of the emotions that come up. You know, you're not really too um, watery. You know, you're more logical. So you kind of might be thrown off. You don't know what the hell is going on, you know, but just breathe and listen. Okay, take the opportunity. This is an opportunity that's being given to you to reset. Okay, to reset. Now, in your second house, you have Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, in Pisces, there's Neptune and Mercury doing a conjunction. So again, something is being like brought to light that was hidden, all right? Aries, your third house of luxury, love, you know, um, Aries is self. It's like, what is love to you? What is um, passion to you? What have you been doing that you've been neglecting yourself and your own needs? That's what's going on here. Aquarius, okay? And then in your fourth house of Taurus, well, we have Chiron. So healing. It has to do, like I told you guys, it's like these are deep, deep rooted things here because fourth house is about roots, you know, comfort. So this has to do with something you've been doing. Maybe it's a family business you've been working in or something like that. Something to do with family and your work, okay? There you go. Family and your work. Just saw 444. <laughs> Root, foundation, you know? And today's a 444 portal, you guys. So, might be uploaded tomorrow, but whatever. While I'm doing it, it's the 444 portal. 
So also in your fifth house of Gemini, well, we have Venus. What is the fifth house normally? It's Leo. It's about passion and pleasure, you know, enjoying life, being a kid again. You have Venus there. So like I told you guys, you are going to have an epiphany. There's going to be this such uh, just like this wave, emotional wave of wanting to feel good again. That's what's happening with your queer. So now let's get into it. That was five minutes, but it's important, guys. It's very important to listen to the astrology because astrology is on point all the time. It's our map. I think people are going to get more into that as we go on, especially in this new world we're entering here. All right, people are going to be diving deep, you know, and Venus and Gemini. People are going to have interest, sudden interest in things they never had interest in or they never thought would have interest in, okay? So today's a 4 portal, 4 4 portal. So stability, and then we have that full moon in Libra coming up on the 7th, okay, which is all about balance. Guys, this is the opportunity to seize for balance, okay, for letting love guide you, okay, love and passion, you know, hunger for life. We're here. This is our lifetime. We're here, you know, we only have this life now, right now, so it's, it's important to be in the now, okay? So let's get a card here. We're going to get tarot um, already. Three cards. We're going to get six cards. This is the Crystal Power Tarot by Jane Wallace. So we'll get three more, and we'll get a bunch of oracles for you, Aquarius. Yeah, I'm feeling you might be anxious. Very. Destabilized, because you're not used to these emotions coming up. But it's for your own good. It's for you to find yourself again, okay? You've been, like, neglecting your needs, your wants. Maybe giving to others a lot, you know? You're very humanitarian. So let's see. One more card. Spirit for Aquarius. Aquarius, one more card. Okay, the one that flipped. The Magician, yeah, it's time to claim your power. <clears throat> yeah, the Magician could be Aries, too. Aries is in for the whole Zodiac wheel this is the first sign of the zodiac wheel it is a spring equinox as well it's a new beginning we're really pressing that start button over okay we're resetting recalibrating now let's see what we have okay, i'm just gonna leave it here the magician first card <clears throat> which is a card of gemini it could be aries too okay you can manifest whatever you desire aquarius but you have to be in tune you will have to really want it it has to be true to your soul your essence you know it has to be you got to dig deep to find that, you know. The magician is somebody who is faithful, trust, trusts in the universe. He is, he knows his power. And he has everything he needs. And he knows he has everything to ne he needs to manifest his desires, okay. This is what you're called to do with Saturn and Mars in your sign. And Jupiter and Pluto helping you clean up, okay. <clears throat> then you have the hermit going within. You have to go through the hermit before you get to be the magician. That's the cycle, right? We all go through hermit mode, then we become the fool, and then we become the magician. Your cycle now, this is Pluto and Jupiter putting you in hermit mode. Going deep, digging deep, healing those wounds. Healing those wounds. Transformation, okay? So then you can step into your power and step into that new role, step into the new version of yourself. This new year, this, you know, step on that wheel, that wheel, that world, that wheel of fortune, okay? But you have to dig deep first. Let's put the hermit first, okay? Next card. To tower, you guys, Pluto, Saturn, I mean, Pluto and Jupiter, there you go. <clears throat> yep, they must come down and you need to heal. The tower is Mars, okay? Mars and Saturn. All the cards are here, okay? Mars, the magician could be Mars. The tower is Mars, Mars, Mars. It's time to go. It's time to dare and go get what you desire. But you have to go within. There's a path you need to go on in order to find the light. Find that northern star you are looking for. It's within you, though. It's not around you. Nobody can find it for you but yourself, Aquarius, okay? Because then you have the Nine of Cups. That's your promise. When you're in hermit mode, not only you become the magician, the cards follow each other so beautifully. 
Hermit mode. Then you become the magician. And you can be damn sure you're going to achieve that nine of cups. Nine of cups is like emotional fulfillment. You just emanating that love, that peace, that balance, that harmony, that beauty. It's like high, high level energy of just, it's almost like you are the sun. You know? Because you feel so good. It shows. And you attract and you manifest anything you want. This is wish fulfillment. Because you're vibing high. Because you are in tune. Because you are aligned. Nine of Cups. Okay. Next card. Page of Wands. That new beginning. <clears throat> See, once you step into it. Okay. Once you do the work. The tower. Let it fall. Pluto, Jupiter. Let it fall. It must go. To make space. Then you go within. You do the healing. Step into your power then. And then... Just start. Just go for it. Page of Wands is such an excited. It's an inner child. It's your inner child. Go for it. D this is a fierce go-getter energy. It's Leo Aries Sag again. Okay, Mars energy. You know, Mars is ruler of um, of Aries. Um, you know, it's like everything you need is here, and is always has been. Everything you need is here for you, and it always has been. Okay. And there's a news that's going to come in here. Okay. Maybe this is the tower. Because first card was the magician, right? I just rearranged it. Let me just go back. So first card was the magician. Then we have the hermit. Then we have the tower. Then we have the nine of cups. And then we have the page of wands. So let's see the last card. King of wands. I'm telling you. So lots of fire here. That's lots of fire here. The Page of Wands, King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. Then you have Tower, Mars, Mar Magician, Aries. Whew. Hermit is Virgo. Service again, okay? Health. Maybe you guys are battling some kind of health issues as well. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, emotions. So Magician, if you were feeling um, you had some health problems, okay, you are going to get news that everything is fine. You had a scare maybe. And it just made you lose your focus, made you lose your uh, confidence, made you feel um, <coughs> unbalanced. <coughs> Sorry. And you are called here to go within and to have faith, okay, and follow your path and trust in the divine. Because whatever is coming, you can deal with it. And it's not what you think, Okay. It's not what you think even because nine of cups falls. You're going to be happy. This is happy good news here because we have the tower and the page of wands that brings the nine of cups. This is happy news coming to you. You are scared of this news. I don't know what it is. If you are dealing with health issues, you're scared of it. You're, you're, you're expecting the worst. Don't do that because energy calls energy. Whatever you, you put out comes back. But I don't even think you can do that because here it's clear. You are waiting for some news. <clears throat> You know you are capable. There's some doubt, though. There's some doubt. Spirit is urging you to trust in the path. Go within. Just leave it to spirit. Do the work you need to do, which is to balance yourself, balance your yin and your yang, be in harmony with yourself. You know, let go of those shadow emotions of fear and doubt. The, 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 the message you're waiting for, the tower and the page of wands, it's coming. And it is going to come and it's going to change your life. Okay? For the better. Drastically. Nine of, cups, nine of Cups, whatever you are wishing for, when you started doing whatever you were doing, you're going to get that result. But there's doubt here. Feel doubt, okay? Good news is coming. Trust in the flow of life, okay? And stay on your path. Now, because whatever you manifested, you perfectly manifested it, okay? Don't worry about it. If you know within, inside of you, you know, you've done the work. Why should you doubt yourself, Okay? Because you are the magician and the king of wands. You are successful in everything you do, Aquarius. Okay? So if you don't know what I'm telling you, you are successful in everything you do. Because you, I feel like you've done work, but there's something that came and gave you this doubt or something or, or whatever, you know? You were on a good, like, streak. You know, you were, like, going and you were, like, good, but then there's some kind of downer that came through or you're just suddenly feeling like, ugh. Somehow, something just made you feel like, oh, uh, you know, and you were like, good, you know, you were, you were on, you were on a good path. You were, you know, you were doing it. You were doing it. You, you, you are doing it. But I mean, 
the excitement, the optimism that you had when you were the magician, the power, right? Somehow something just knocked you off your balance and your game. And I think you know it. And that's why you went into hermit mode where you just like stopped and regrouped yourself. And because you did that, you are allowing it to come to you now. The manifestation. Spirit sees that, okay? And this is amazing because there's news coming here. Beautiful news that's going to set you off. King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is an upgrade. This message is going to bring you an upgrade. King of Wands, Page of Wands, King of Wands. It's bringing, an upgrade is coming. Wait for the upgrade, okay? Let's get some more cards. Let's get some tarot. Um, let's get some ta uh, some tarot. Let's get some, uh, sorry. I'm a little bit excited with this 4-4 portal. 4-4-4 portal, I'm telling you guys. Um, yeah, let's get an earth magic. Some oracle. Earth magic, Stephen D. Farmer for Aquarius. Saturn is in your sign. This is big, big, big change for you. It's up to you if you want it to be good change or bad change, okay? Ride the wheel. This is a wheel of fortune that's coming to you. But it's up to you, okay? It's always up to you. It's always up to us, okay? We have to stay positive and know that we are the powerful human beings and that we can manifest whatever we desire when we're aligned, okay? All right. Let's get a card from the Earth Magic for Aquarius Spirit. Magic for Aquarius. Let's get one card. Spirit, what's here for Aquarius, please? First half of April. Good news. Expect good news. Spirit, Aquarius, please. First. Let's take the one that flipped. Stillness, which is the hermit. You need to stop. You need to be present. You need to stop the, you know, the monkey mind. You need to stop imagining things. You need to just uh, surrender. And knowing that you've done the work and you're pretty successful. I feel like you guys are pretty successful, you know, people that are very lucky. You have luck on your side. Not only luck, but it's just like luck, expertise, and just determination and savviness. So I don't know what this doubt came from. There's a little doubt that came and it, it almost threw you off your game, you know, you know, but you caught it real quick. Now this page of, you know, this, this news, this good news is coming. And stillness, meditation, that's that hermit energy. Okay. So remember, stay balanced and surrender. And just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it, Aquarius. Let's get a sacred destiny for you. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? Sacred destiny for Aquarius, please. First half of April. Hey, you might feel like it's not coming fast enough. It is, but look, we're in quarantine. Things are not, you know, coming fast. Even if you order something, notice how, I don't know if you guys are ordering stuff. I'm ordering a bunch of stuff. My bank account is crying. Anywho. Um, if you know how, even when you order things, usually they, they just like they, they if they it had to come in like five days and it takes twice as much, so yeah, you can't rush things right now, you know. Divine timing, divine timing, but you're it's coming though. Know that this is your confirmation, whatever you're waiting for is coming, but you're gonna have to be patient, all right? It's on its way, all right, spirit. What do I for Aquarius, please? First half of April from the Sacred Destiny. Dennis Lynn. Aquarius. Too many cards. Aquarius. Just one card spirit. <sighs> Sacred Destiny. Dennis Lynn. First half of April. Aquarius. Please, spirit. Why do all the cards want to come in? You might have multiple news coming into you. There's something that's rushing in towards you. And it's going to make you so happy. <laughs> it's just what you were waiting for, actually. Okay, we have two cards. Again, still, stillness. T stand still. Two cards of stillness. Okay. Look at that. It's beautiful, right? Yes, you have to wait. <laughs> I told you, you got to be patient. Two cards of stillness here, and then action. Because once it comes in, okay, you have that king of wands, king of wands, remember? 
once the news comes in, it's gonna go your it's gonna be your go. It's gonna be your sign to go. It's gonna be, you know, time to go. So right now, you know, muster your energy, gather your energy, because once it's off, it's off. It's gonna be action time. All right. This news brings action. So don't rush it. Don't rush it. Let it brew. Let it brew so it's exactly the way you want it, right? Nine of Cups. Let it brew. Don't rush it. It's it's being prepared for you. You know, it's being like tempered for you, basically. So don't rush it. Temper yourself while they're tempering your your your, your manifestation. While spirit, the universe, is tempering your manifestation, you temper your emotions. All right, Aquarius? <clears throat> okay, let's see. What, what else can I get for you guys? Since we have two, we're going to get, um, let's get a crystal. Something's brewing. Something's brewing, and it's good. Spirit, what for Aquarius, please? First half of April for Aquarius Spirit. <clears throat> First half of April for Aquarius. Why is my sage not lighting up? Yeah, you gotta wait. See? It's like, you know, the cards were flying, but now the sage doesn't want to light. You know, it's like a it's a tricky, tricky thing because it's out of your control. Okay, it's spirit. It's not divine timing yet. <clears throat> so you want it to come fast, you know. That's why the cards are flying like you know, two cards of destiny here. It's coming. And two of them are opposite. One says stand still. The other one says action. See? So you're in limbo. It's like you have to temper it. You know, it's two opposite cards here that came out. Meaning, it's almost like you're not even getting the answer from this reading. Um, like, you can't know. You know, because you have stand still and action. It's like, okay, you're like, which one is it? You know? Although, though, remember, you have the Page of Wands, good news is on the way, and the tower. The tower is like sudden, sudden, sudden something coming towards you. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. It's never bad, actually. The tower, when it falls, it's always in our best interest. It's for our betterment. But here for you, know that it's something good. It's something you've been waiting for, that you've manifested, okay? All right. And you're going to be very successful and very fulfilled emotionally and it's going to be abundant too it's exactly what you're waiting for and hoping and wishing for okay all right crystal reading um uh, by um rochelle charman Spirit. this one relationship healing relationship healing hmm interesting Relationship healing. Remember I was talking about your family in the, in the beginning? Is there somebody um, apologizing? Or you're making amends? This is making amends. About what, though? I need another card, because I don't know. No more card spirit. Making amends about what? This is out of the picture here. Hermit, relationship healing. Maybe relationship with yourself. Relationship healing, Morganite. In the tower. <clears throat> well, remember, um, Venus and Gemini, communication coming in, right? Loving, caring connections, uh, uh, communication is coming in. <clears throat> it's going to be retrograde as well, so lots of exes are coming back. Oh, yeah, lovers. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Just as I said that. This is something extra, though. Maybe it was a tower. You guys broke up and then you were single, nine of cups. And you're on your way doing your thing. Somebody's maybe wanting a new start with you. Somebody's trying to apologize. Is this a new like relation? Like an old relationship, like just taking a turn and you guys coming together and deciding to work on it. And it's a total different ball game. You guys are definitely evolved. You've evolved. Hermit, you know. Um, you're standing in your power again. You're not accepting anything lesser than what you deserve. Um, you've done the work. You've healed Hermit, the tower. After this breakup, and now you're single, you're fulfilled, you're emotionally stable, you're balanced, you're uh, in tune, you're aligned, you know. You know your worth. You know you're standing in your power again. And now here comes the good news. This person wants to get back together after a time of stillness, of healing, 
okay? And they're coming to heal this relationship. Oh, yeah. Somebody's coming to heal the relationship. Okay, then. All right. Hmm. What can I get? What else? Let's get a um, soul's journey. Ooh, an apology. It's, somebody wants to start over. Start over. Somebody wants to start over. Mm, okay. This tower is actually a reset. Like I said, remember I was saying reset, reset, reset. There's a reset here. For you, it's a relationship, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be love. It could be a connection. It could be, you know, somebody you argued with, with your, in your family. <clears throat> okay. It doesn't have to be love. Lovers is a soul connection, okay? Apply it uh, to your situation as it fits, you know, if, you, you, if it concerns your a loving partnership or uh, just a partnership or a family member or something, okay? Somebody you had a fallout with or something, okay? All right, let's see from the soul's journey. It'll tell us a little bit more. What do we have for Aquarius Spirit? <clears throat> First half of April. What is this? Relationship healing. Or is it you? I don't think it's you, though. Because you're standing pretty strong and firm <clears throat> and aligned and, like, in tune with yourself. I don't feel like it's you. That's a lot of cards. Spirit, just one card, maybe? Or two? I don't know. I saw regret a minute ago. So, yeah. Definitely somebody's coming back here to mend something. If, it, if it's not to come back together, they're coming and expressing... Um, their feelings and saying that they were wrong, you know, and apologizing. All right, Spirit, what do I have for Aquarius? First half of April, one card from the Soul's Journey, Stephen Von Prague. One card. Oh, again, you guys, somebody's trying to mend a relationship here. Let me read that. Somebody's trying to mend a relationship. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Somebody's trying to mend a relationship here. Are you going to accept the reconciliation? Because you're standing pretty in your power, busy doing what you do, what you got to do, doing what you want to do, manifesting your life, manifesting your abundance, manifesting like your desires and needs. And you're standing pretty like firm, single. You're good. I don't think you're going to accept this like uh, reconciliation. You can heal. I think you're going to mend the relationship. It's going to feel really good because it's good news. Maybe they've done you wrong. It was like really like a nasty breakup or something like that. So you're very glad. But this, like you, with your, the magician, hermit, nine of cups, and um, and king of wands, it doesn't feel like, no, yeah, you're going to be tied down, especially not with an old relationship. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. There we go. I mean, the, the apology is sincere, though. Okay? The apology is sincere, but are you going to accept? Right? Two cards of relationship. I will, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Yeah. Well, yeah I don't think you're going to accept. I don't think so. It, it was a soul connection. Maybe that's why it was difficult. It was karmic. Um, but you're, I don't feel like you're going to get back to, you're going to go back, you know? I don't think you're going to go back. You're going to talk it out because it's going to feel good. You're sitting in your power, so you're cool. Either way, you're cool. But this is like, okay, great. I'm glad we got, you know, got a, we got that out of the picture. I'm glad there's no animosity anymore. Cool, fine. But you were fine anyway, you know? But it always feels good, right? Um, to mend, then you both can move on with no resentment. Maybe even become friends after, right? Um, but I feel like they they want more than that, and I don't think you're you're gonna offer that because you're good. <laughs> you're good. All right, Aquarius. Well, this was pretty exciting. Wow. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.
bye bye